Hey everybody, it's Darcy. Hope you're doing well. So today we're going to look at realistic uh, watercolor paintings. Uh, other terms for it might be photorealistic or um, absolute realistic art. Now, here's the thing. I completely admit I can't do it. <laughs> so this is just going to be my attempt of my son's breakfast which was a fried egg on the grill. Um, have about two or three videos a week. And so if you like stuff like this, please like and subscribe and hit the, hit, share it with your friends and announce it from rooftops. Okay, maybe not. Anyway, here we go. But you know what? Stick around till the end because there's a huge, huge learning point um, that I'm going to tell you about as how this helps me do it. Okay, here we go. Well, that was it. Now, the thing is, I like my egg that I painted. I thought it was pretty good for what I wanted to do. Did I get close to photorealism? No, no, not very much. But what I did find out about this was 
the more I practice, you know how they say practice makes perfect? Well, the more I practice doing this, trying to make an attempt at photorealistic watercolor painting or any painting, whether I use acrylics or charcoal, it's, it's helping me. Um, it's helping me do my paintings better. It's making me, it's forcing me to look at colors better. It's forcing me to look at the line work and the perspective and the depth of uh, the object I'm trying to paint. So, um, if you can do it, that's great. I can't do it, but my attempts to try and do photorealistic painting has really helped me. So hopefully it'll help you too. Other than that, hope you have a great day and don't forget, please like and subscribe and share with your friends and enjoy yourself. Take care.